Hi everyone and welcome. Today this video is on um, jigs we make for our CNC machine and how they can be realigned. Uh, once we've cut our jig we uh, then eventually have to remove the jig from the table and at a later date we want to put the jig back. Now to make the jig work properly it it has to go back where it, um, in in uh, in a place, and we need to be able to register our CNC cutter to our original locations on this jig. Now I've come up with a way of doing this that uh, uh, you might like to try, and it makes re-registering jigs like this very easy. This particular jig is one I use for um, holding. Uh, plywood, thin plywood, uh, while I V-carve it. So the jig holds the plywood flat. Basically I need to be able to align the cutter so it's the center of the uh, plywood and um, carve away. Now it, on this particular jig it wouldn't be overly difficult to just put a, an X in the, in the middle of um, my plywood, put in the holder here, clamp it down and then set my cutter up off it. Uh, but I've chosen to set a reference mark on this jig at this point here and I've written on it here X0 Y minus 125 uh, millimeters obviously and if I can get my cutter to exactly this spot here then uh, I can move my Y back and, and set these coordinates once the cutter's here uh, I'm right now normally what you've got to do is to reference a jig you need two points to reference it with because if with this jig I get my cutter at this point here but I have the jig sitting like this here then obviously it's not going to be right this thing has to be in exact alignment with the way it was originally put in place now, like I said, you could do that with two uh, two reference points. I could put a reference point here and a reference point there, for instance. Set up my cutter there, enter the coordinates, move the cutter over to here, then move the jig so that the coordinates are right. Then move it back and move this here and spend the rest of my day trying to get this lined up spot on. And that's... I just am not interested in that. So, the second way of doing it is to use a reference mark on the table here. I always make my jigs so that they are referenced to the x-axis. I've got three lines on my on my table here. I don't know if you can see them, but they just run across here. They're pencil lines uh, that I've v-carved into, into the tabletop here. And I uh, did darken them with pencil. So I can hold the jig here in place, I can clamp it, if I sit with this line here, clamp it down, then bring the cutter over and line it up with this hole. Again, that can be done, that's a lot easier, I only need a single point of reference and it will be correct, but it's not easy to do. What I've come up with is this, and I don't know if you recognise it, but basically it's a rather large MDF version of a parallel ruler and this is going to make setting up our jig really easy because it's going to give us a reference point uh, that will always be parallel to the table and uh, here's how we use it well the first thing about this jig is on the back is this stick here it's a uh, it's made out of 12mm MDF and it's a reference line and it will just sit against this edge here. It sits in there like that, and I'm just going to drop these bolts into the T-slot, and just push it up against the edge of the table, and bolt it down. So now my jig's in place, and it's on a constant reference point. It, it never moves from there. So any jig I make, I will set the uh, material that I'm making it up to 
uh, with reference to the, uh, this, this parallel ruler or if I'm simply cutting it out on the machine and it's square all the way around like this here it's not a problem because I know this edge here is parallel here and uh, it will always be right Right, next we need to locate this hole here. Now that's really easily done because this was drilled when um, when the jig is first made. It's a quarter inch hole. I simply picked a spot on the uh, jig here that at random. Uh, in this case, I couldn't pick uh, zero zero for the jig because zero zero is here. So I picked x zero y minus 125, and I put a quarter inch hole here. What I need to do now is bring my CNC router in here and I, what I put on here is a quarter inch V bit. I can now drop the cutter down into this hole and it's nice and tight, it can't move anywhere. It can, it can swing side to side like this. Or it could if it is. It can swing side to side like this, but it can't move backwards and forwards. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to bring the table forward a bit like this until it's within range of the parallel ruler. And then I'm going to swing the parallel ruler like this. Okay, now we know that this is square to the x-axis as it was originally when it was set up and all I need to do is clamp this into position uh, I've got it in the right position but if it's not quite right I can just move it sideways a little bit and then I can just parallel it up again like that there and it's ready to ready to clamp so there we are, we're parallel here I'll now clamp it at the back Right, well we can see that the, it's still parallel here, we can now just pull that back, remove our parallel ruler, and now just quickly put in our front clamps in this particular jig. If I'd been a bit cleverer when I designed this jig, I would have uh, put clamping uh, holes in it to actually hold it to the table so that I didn't need to use these clamps here. Uh, I'll bear that in mind next time I make it. Right, well now that the jig is now clamped down, what I have to do next is I need to enter into my um, controller this particular coordinate, X0 y minus 125 so I'll just do that now x is 0 y minus 125 right I can now move the cutter up here so if I go uh, y go to 0 X is already at zero. We're now setting dead center of this jig exactly where it should be. All I need to do now is zero the cutter to the material and away I go. It's all set up for me. Uh, it's as simple as that and it will be in, in, the, in the correct position. Um, now, the way I used to do it is I used to have tiny little spots marked on there and then you got to try and set the point of the cutter up with that little tiny spot and um, it can be done, but uh, it can be quite difficult even positioning a, a pointed cutter to a tiny little spot on a, on a board. So um, this particular method um, allows very quick, simple registration every time. Uh, no shaking about, um, just incredibly easy to set up. 
Okay, guys, well, I, I hope that's uh, useful to you, and um, uh, I hope some of you will give it a go. Okay, have a good evening. Cheers.